Bruh, this was way, way, way past due. And we're about to get into it. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, Great White Gang? It is your boy, Jason JV. Saying welcome to another method to the madness. And yes, yes, y'all. I can't wait to get into this one, man. It's going to be a slightly different format. It's going to be very similar to what I did with the uh, Up Church um, Monster Max 1 uh, versus video that I did. Uh, not the one where I shot off the remix. But, well, I mean, it'll be kind of kind of, kind of like that as well. Because, uh, obviously, this episode is going to be um, about the song Out of My Mind. And, uh, yeah. One of my favorite songs that, that I've done in quite some time and then throughout the years, you know, um, since I've improved over time with my music, you know what I mean, thanks to some uh, constructive feedback that I've been receiving um, throughout throughout the years, uh, I've since, every time when, when I would go and revisit this song out of my mind, the more it makes me cringe, because it's like, man, I could have done that better, I could have done this better, you know, oh, man, I, I could have mixed that better, uh, now, granted, at the time, when I did Out of My Mind, um, I, I did have some knowledge in regards to mixing, I did have some knowledge, you know what I'm saying, but the knowledge I had then does not compare to the knowledge that I have now, obviously, hence why I went back and redid the song, so, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, like, just, the, the the further along you know I've gone as far as like my music is concerned and where my, my level and, and at the level that I'm at now it's just like the more I cringe whenever I hear this and now I'm at a point where now I hate this original version of out of my mind and I find it ironic that I have remaster audio in the title because now I can look at that and be like are you sure <laughs> are you sure it's remastered uh, bruh. <laughs> hey, I can pick on myself. It's all good. You know what I mean? I'm not afraid to laugh at myself. Um, but I'm not gonna beat up myself too much. Cause like I said, the, the knowledge I had, even though, like I said, I did have some knowledge, it, it doesn't compare to the knowledge I have now. And again, that wouldn't be possible without some great, great folks that I met along the way on this platform. Like my man, Alpha Tyler, shout out to my man, Alpha Tyler, who's taught me a lot, um, <clears throat> as far as like mixing is concerned. And then, um, having a better grasp in when you write a song, you know what I mean? You I have a better grasp in writing to a certain beat that I want to use for the subject matter um, that I want to discuss on said beat. And so, yeah. So what we're going to do is going to be kind of like, like, like I said, it's going to be kind of like a, like a versus video I did. Um, a little bit of like, like the remix video I also did for Up Church. Um, so yeah, kind of an, an, an amalgamation of video stylings. That I will that I will be doing here a little bit of a reaction style to reaction format as well so let's go ahead and jump right into th what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the original version of out of my mind and then we'll get into the new one so uh, let's go ahead and remind ourselves how the original version of out of my mind sounds by like in the hit hit well I don't know about liking but we're gonna hear here go I demonstrated there's no difference between me and everyone else all it takes is one bad day. That's how far the world is from where I am. Just one bad day. You had a bad day once, am I right? Oh, I know I am. I can tell. You had a bad day. Alright, so that audio sampling, that little clip that I played, that was actually from um, one of the Batman animated films from uh, DC from DC Direct, I believe their film division is still called DC Direct, um, <clears throat> but they they released a animated uh, feature film based on the Killing Joke comic um, from the Batman comic book series, and uh, that little clip right there, that was from the scene where um, Batman um, enters into the uh, to the fun house. I believe he's in like the House of Mirrors, and the Joker is in the uh, is on the loudspeaker talking to Batman. Um, at that point <clears throat> and that's where I brought that clip from all right so now we're gonna get into the first verse let's go ahead and get this out of the way 
It started 2018, who was it 17? Been having these nightmarish dreams Worse than Freddy hunting them folks on Elm Street On a murderous spree For those who chose to turn their backs on me How dare you betray my trust? Now you got me feeling that lust For your motherfucking blood Come on now, cause you knew what it was Hoping and expecting for me to take my last breath Well to that I say bitch off with your head Hold up now wait a minute What the fuck am I saying? Get a grip now Jay Cause you got to maintain Keep control of your motherfucking brain Somebody help me I think I'm going crazy Too many late nights That's what it's gotta be Please nobody Interrupt my slumber My name ain't Jack Torrance Bitch you got the wrong number Interrupt my sleep Best be prepped to suffer all right, so that was the first verse. Obviously, now we know how that originally sounded, how it was originally written and everything. I think the first verse is still okay. It's still pretty decent. But when we get into the, the later version, you, you'll, you'll see why I think this version right here, it's still okay. It's still pretty decent at where it's at. Um, <clears throat> but the thing is, obviously, you could tell I was reading my lyrics because the one thing I, 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 I will do, and this really hasn't changed much, um, I always keep my lyrics with me, um, and in my earlier phases of doing music, you know what I mean, you, you could tell that I was reading my lyrics, and I, I can't deny, yeah, I was, I was reading my shit, you know what I mean, I've gotten better with that over time, now I just have them with me, so I can just look at them and see where I'm at, <clears throat> and then I can, then I can tell, okay, like, the next lines, you know, what, what lines are coming up and everything, so I've, I've gotten better with it all over time i still like having my lyrics with me and everything but and that, that's not going to change but i have gotten better about reading my lyrics though when it comes to flowing i've gotten better in like practicing my all of my stuff to the point where i pretty much have it memorized for the most part but then still still keep the lyrics as a reminder of like okay i see where i'm at i know it's coming okay you know anyway won't somebody please can anybody out there help me i think i'm losing my sanity i think i'm out of my mind now i'm out of my mind now won't somebody please can anybody out there help me i think i'm losing my sanity that's it i'm out of my mind now i'm out of my mind now all right not gonna lie after listen to this first hook um, I'm really glad I went back and redid it because, man, that hook, <sighs> that hook, it was was kind of cringe. I think the idea was there, the concept was there, but the execution, though, obviously, it just it just doesn't compare. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the second verse. It took so many bad things to fill my rage. I tried to suppress it. I need to be locked away. It's too much to bear. This shit has me stressing. It's got me sweating bullets like a cardio workout. Somebody please help me. My mind is so turned out. I'm so my apologies for the immediate pause here, but I know I'm gonna get someone in my comments like, "Bruh, how come you didn't go back to doing the uh, video game music videos and stuff?" Like, I know, I know, I know. People love it when I do the video game footage you know, for the music videos and stuff like that, and trust me, I will be bringing those back when it's appropriate, but for the new version, I wanted the, the uh, new version to be its own thing, a separate thing, you know what I mean, and, because, uh, ideally, the visuals that I use for the new one, that's really the, uh, that, that, to me, it helps better, you know, tell the story visually of what the song is about, but anyway, let's go ahead and get back into this. I'm so damn conflicted, I'm so damn twisted They're smiling in my face when all the while they wanna take my place These fucking backstabbers just begging to see their brain matter I'm so done with all the fucking chatter You dirty bunch of bastards, you brought this on your damn selves I thought y'all knew that too much hate is bad for your health Should have utilized stealth or exercise discretion And don't you ask me no questions, you blew your chances at redemption It's time for you to rest in piss, I'm fixing to enjoy this You shut the fuck up, bitch no point in trying to fight it just let it happen well yeah so again keep in mind of how these verses are sounding and keep in mind how the verse the, the the hook is sounding 
keep in mind of how the overall song is sounding because when we get into the new one trust me you're gonna hear the difference somebody please can anybody out there help me i think i'm losing my sanity i think i'm out of my mind now i'm out of my mind now won't somebody please can anybody out there help me i think i'm losing my sanity i say i'm out of my mind now i'm out of my mind now so done with being a fucking doormat tossed aside like yesterday's trash i don't give a shit if you blood or not far as i'm concerned all of y'all can rot for your double cross ain't no big loss to this motherfucking boss you see i've had enough i'm standing up i see how it is now y'all don't want me around i ain't shit but a man baby huh yeah keep spreading that shit on social media i hope you said your prayers and beg for a yeah, I really did not like the way that part came out. <laughs> Positive vibes, cause this cycle right here doesn't accept bribes. Try to cry for your life, it's only music to my ears. I am your deepest, darkest fears. Spare me your crocodile tears, for you see, it's time for you to float. We all flow down here. Once I'm done with this bloodshed, I'm fixing to celebrate with a beer. Here's to all of y'all. Cheers. Won't somebody please? Can anybody out there help me? I think I'm losing my sanity. I think I'm out of my mind now. I'm out of my mind now. Won't somebody please? Can anybody out there help me? I think I'm losing my sanity. I say I'm out of my mind now. I'm out of my mind now. Won't somebody please? Can anybody out there help me? I think. I think I'm losing my sanity. I think I'm out of my mind now. I'm out of my mind now. Won't somebody please? Can anybody out there help me? I think I'm losing my sanity. That's it. I'm out of my mind now. I'm out of my mind now. Somebody help me. I'm out of my mind. 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 <clears throat> all right guys so that was the original version of out of my mind and i'm not gonna lie i, I do still like the way the, the 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 way the song ended right there at the end that little harmonic piece at the end i still like that and honestly i think that's like the best part of that version if i'm being totally 100 percent with y'all so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull up the the uh, new version of out of my mind and uh well We'll probably break that down. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, y'all. So we have the most recent, the current version, if you will, of Out of My Mind. This is the, the uh, redo uh, version that, that I did, um, complete with a brand new uh, opening intro. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this one by liking, actually liking to hear here. Go. And by the way, let me know what you guys think of this intro for all my videos, man. I would really like that that feedback. Personally, I think it's player, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the light blue highlights. It goes well with that little um, subscribe bell um, animation that, that, that you see appearing. You know what I mean? But anyway. You see, um, my mind state didn't come from just one bad day. Oh, no. <laughs> It came from a whole series of bad days. <laughs> You've had a bad day once. Am I right? Oh, I can tell. You've had a bad day. <laughs> All right, so as you can tell, the intro already, it's different. Um, that's me actually recording my voice. You know what I mean? Utilizing my uh, Joker impression to um, make that intro because I just love talking in that Joker voice. It, it's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so yeah that's actually me doing that um and then we'll get into the outro uh when that comes but let's go ahead and get into the first verse and see how different um the first verse uh sounds fun fact i only rewrote half of the first verse the rest of it just came from off top of the dome so anyway let's go ahead and get right back into this 
He started in 2018, who wasn't 17. I've had these nightmare dreams, just like Freddy hunting the folks on Elm Street. I'm on this murdering spree. For those who went and turned their backs on me, how dare you betray my trust? Now you got me feeling this lust for your motherfucking blood. Come on now, cuz you knew what it was. Hoping and expecting for me to take my last breath. Well, to that, I say, bitch, off with your head. Now hold up, what did I just say? Damn, get a grip now, Jay, for you got to maintain, keep control of your motherfucking brain. Somebody help me, I think I'm going crazy, too many late nights, that's what it's gotta be. Please, nobody, interrupt my slumber. My name is Jack Torrance, bitch, you got the wrong number, interrupt my sleep, you best be prepped to suffer. So right away, you can see the difference to me. I'm coming in with that with that energy, that that fire, you know what I'm saying? That was lacking in the original, you know what I mean? I'm all fired up. I'm pissed off. I'm angry. I'm freaking snapping, you know what I mean? Because I'm struggling to maintain my, my, my uh, sanity given with all the bullshit that I was dealing with. Yeah, it's kind of a personal song. It's based off of all the bullshit I dealt with from, you know, some of my, my relatives that went and did me dirty, you know what I'm saying? And um, me just trying to, you know, maintain my humanity, my, 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 my sanity and everything, you know what I mean? Try to just, you know, try not to let that stuff get to me. But man, it'd be hard because, you know, can nobody hurt you more than, than, than family? You know what I'm saying? When, you, when your family betrays you, you know what I'm saying? They do you dirty. It's like, it's easy being on the outside looking in to say, oh, get over it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, no, because like, that's your family. That's your blood. These are people that you were close to at one point. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden they, they freaking turned on you, you know what I'm saying, like, like, as if they never knew you, or whatever, they treat you like, like, you're this, you're this total stranger, or whatever, that, that they, they can care less about, you know what I'm saying, it's sad, it's heartbreaking, and it does some things to you mentally, because again, that's your blood, that's your family, you know what I'm saying, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the first hook, won't somebody please, can anybody out there help me, I think I'm losing my sanity, that's it, I'm out of my mind now, I'm out of my mind now, won't somebody please, can anybody out there help me, I think I'm losing my sanity, I think I'm out of my mind now, I'm out of my mind now. So, let me wind this back just a little bit, so as, as you can tell the hook, it's still the same verbally for the most part, um, only a little bit more planned out. Um, I wanted, you know, the first part of it to be like, yeah, this is it. I'm losing it. I'm really lo losing my mind. And then I wanted the last part to be kind of question it because it's like, I don't know, am I really or am I just, you know what I mean, just being overly dramatic or whatever the hell, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then another thing I wanted to add into is that demonic voice. And I kind of wanted to just pop in here and there. Reason being because I wanted to again reflect and really show you know what I mean like like I'm I'm really conflicted you know what I mean I'm being yeah like, like there's this there's this conflict going on in my head you know what I mean I'm, I'm on my mind you know what I'm saying like the the normal voice obviously is me for the most part and then that demonic voice is you know the negative influence you know what I mean that's causing me to want to you know snap you know what I mean so yeah that's basically the idea behind that so anyway my mind now, I'm out of my mind now. Too many bad days have filled this rage. Been trying to suppress it. I needs to be locked away. It's too much to bear. It's got me bugging. Hold on to the love. There's, There's so, so much grudging. So right there you can tell off the top of the second verse, which by the way, the entire second verse and the entire third verse, which we will get into, were all completely rewritten. Um they're gonna be similar to the original, but they were just tweaked in a way to where now they flow better and everything and as you can tell from the intro on this one it definitely flows better so yeah and it it's a nice call back to the intro because you know the intro like i said my mind state my state of mind didn't come from just one bad day it came from a series of bad days so it felt fitting for the second verse to really drive home that point you know what i mean it took too many too many bad days you know what i mean um put me in in the predicament that, that i'm in now you know what i mean and then um Again, further driving that whole being conflicted, you know what I mean? Trying to hold on to the love, but there's so much grudging. Yeah, it, it kind of got a little, it kind of got a little, little, little tweaked in the mi in the mixing. But the part where the demonic voice kicks in and it says, um, you know, so much something, it's actually so much grudging. So hold on, try, so hold on to the love. There's so much grudging. You know what I mean? It's got me bugging, man. This whole this thing with my mind because of these people and all this stuff that I went through. You know what I mean? It's got my, it's got me bugging. You know what I mean? And 
hold on to the love. There's so much grudging. You know what I mean? I, I like, I, I really like the way that kind of played out because I feel like it flowed better. But anyway, let me wind this back just a little bit. Let's get back into it. The love is so much grudging. Sweating bullets, stressing like a cardio workout. Somebody please help me. My mind is so turned out, so damn twisted. I'm so damn conflicted. Smiling in my face, wall to wall. They want to take my place. Fucking. So yeah, um, I definitely like the way this part flowed out better too. As you can tell, a lot of the stuff I did keep in, I just reworked the lines, I rewrote them so they flow better. You know what I mean? I just took out some of the words that I felt were a little bit um, excessive. They were not necessary and were not needed. Um, and this goes back to what I said to um, a certain rapper that I reacted to who shall remain nameless um, when I said they need to step up their pen game. They really, they, they should not... Really, this goes for any new up-and-coming artist, every new up-and-coming rap artist, whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? Hip-hop artist, whatever you want to call yourself. If you're doing rap, and, right, and you're and you're writing your, your verses out, never settle for the first draft. The first draft should never, ever, 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 ever be your final draft. You know what I mean? So hopefully this video teaches you that because on the original version, the the um, all those words that I used, that was from the first draft. See, I made this mistake myself too. I'm not perfect by any means, you know what I'm saying? But I'm someone who can, who ha has learned a lot, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to help the next up and coming artist not repeat the same mistakes I've made, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, so this right here, this is proof, you know what I mean? Take your time, these lines that you're writing, practice them first. If something's not fitting, it's prob probably because you either have too many words or not enough words Try rephrasing the, the lines that you're using right here. You know what I'm saying? Some Hey, less is more. Sometimes less is more. You know what I'm saying? Yo, anyway. So let's, let's, let me wind that back something. Let's uh, listen to that again. Got me bugging. Hold on to the love. There's, There's so, so much grudging. Sweating bullets, stressing like a cardio workout. Somebody please help me. My mind is so turned out. So sweating bullets like a cardio workout. Who's sweating bullets? Obviously, that's me. I'm the one talking. You know what I mean? Addressing this predicament I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to dumb down your lines for people to know, oh, this is all about you. No, this right here, this is a classic case. Hey, look, you don't need so many words to explain that it's you going through this stuff. No, obviously it's me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. So damn twisted. I'm so damn conflicted. Smiling at my face, wall to wall. They want to take my place. Fucking... And plus, it kind of fits, too, with, like, with the, the uh, thoughts that, that's running through your head. You know what I'm saying? Like, this crazy, because that's what, because usually when, when people who are going nuts, for the most part, who are going crazy, right, and they're having the, these conflicted thoughts and everything, they don't think in complete sentences. They usually think in incomplete sentences. You know what I mean? That, and so it comes off like, like it doesn't make sense, but really, if you listen and pay attention, it really does make sense. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, this is the mind state of someone who is going crazy, someone who is snapping. You know what I mean? Bruh. It fits all right in perfectly with the concept of what this song is about. Backstabbers begging to see their brain matter. Yeah. And so smiling in my face, these fucking backstabbers, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm making a reference to a very classic song. One of my favorite songs. They smile in your face. Oh, I don't want to take your place. The backstabbers, backstabbers. I love that song. Anyway. Yeah, I'm so done with all the damn chatter. Dirty bunch of bastards brought it on the damn selves. I guess they'll never learn to hate is bad for their health. Should have utilized stealth or exercised discretion. Don't you ask me questions, no more chances at redemption. Haul a yard fin to rest and piss. Shut your damn mouth, bitch. No point in trying to fight it. Bros. And I really like the way the demonic voice sounds too on some parts, because it does have like that nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger vibe, which was one of the references I really wanted to make. I mean, it made all the sense in the first verse to make the Freddy Krueger references because Freddy is that is that entity, if you will, that you know haunts and kills people in their dreams. And when people die in their dreams, they die for real. You know what I mean? So to make that reference, to make that connection, you know what I mean, with the nightmare dreams and everything, yeah. And then to bring the demonic voice to in, in certain spots, it really fits, you know, with that reference, that whole type of you know horrorcore vibe. You know what I mean? Because, y'all, hey, I love Nightmare on Elm Street. I love the original Nightmare on Elm Street film series, not the remakes or anything like that, man. Only the originals, because the originals to me are the best ones. But anyway, it's not about horror movies. It's about the song. Let's get back into it. Somebody, please, can anybody out there help me? I think I'm losing my sanity. That's it. I'm out of my mind now. I'm out of my mind now. 
won't somebody please? Can anybody out there help me? I think I'm losing my sanity. I think I'm out of my mind now. I'm out of my mind now. So don't be in a damn doormat. Toss aside like yesterday's trash. Don't give a shit if you blood or not. Far as I'm concerned, the lot of y'all can rot. I'm the last one y'all dare to cross. Now, in the, in the original version of the third verse, we all know how that started. Obviously, like I said, the third verse was also um, entirely rewritten. Um, just every line was almost, yeah, pretty much down there. Every line was um, was t was reworked, tweaked, you know, so it flowed better with the beat and everything. And um, yeah, I like the way that that is flowing so far on the third verse. Not much of a loss for this motherfucking boss. You see, I've had enough. Feel free to call my bluff. I see how it is now. Y'all don't want me around. Ain't shit but a man, baby, huh? Keep spreading that shit on social media. Where was y'all when I really needed ya? Yeah, see, and then I liked how now I was able to get more rhyme schemes um, out of this version that I did in the original. In the original, there was very little rhyme schemes that I wanted, if hardly any at all in there. Um... <clears throat> or if any at all, I should say. But um, this one, there was more rhyme schemes to it. There were some transitional rhymes that I had to work in in order to get these rhyme schemes. But I mean, hey, sometimes that's just what you got to do, you know what I mean, to get that desired uh, result, you know what I mean? And really, at the end of the day, to me, it's more about telling a story, you know what I'm saying? If I can work in some, some great schemes here and there, obviously I'm going to do that, you know what I mean? Because yes, that is part of what makes a really good, great rap song rather than just a good rap song you know what i mean but like i said to me it's it's more about telling that story you know what i'm saying delivering that 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 message and everything and um if i can implement any and all tricks in into the mix obviously i'm gonna do that too and to me this is a prime example of being able to you know tell that narrative and work in some of those tricks so, you know what i mean I, I really like that one scheme you know what i mean like you know, that whole man, baby, huh, social media, really needed ya. I really like the way that played out, you know what I mean? Because now that has its own little rhyme scheme going on right there. Anyway. I hope you said your prayers and beg for good vibes. Because this local right here does not accept bribes. Try to cry for your life. It's only music to my ears. I am the deepest, darkest fear. It's time for you to go. We all flow down here. Once I'm done with this massacre, I'm fixing to celebrate with a beer. It's to all of y'all. Cheers. So yeah, I really like the way I closed out the third verse on this one because I was able to work another horror references. Obviously, Massacre, Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That was that was the reference I worked in there. And then <clears throat> talking about you know once I'm done with that, you know what I mean I'm gonna celebrate with a beer. And then we we um, uh, incorporated the the opening of the beer can. Um, Originally, I, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to leave it just like how I did with the original. You know what I mean? Kind of had that little emptiness. Kind of had like that instrumental play out like I originally did. But I was like, nah, I can't I can't do that with this new one. Um, it, it needs something. And so I went onto YouTube and I was looking up some like sound effects and whatnot. And I actually found, you know, the uh, can opening um, so sound effect. And I go, you know what? Boom, there it is right there. That's That would fit perfectly. And sure enough, there you go. We got the can opening right there and then the cheers you know what i mean like like salute you know what i mean and then we go into the next hook so let's go ahead and get it won't somebody please can anybody out there help me i think i'm losing my sanity that's it i'm out of my mind now i'm out of my mind now won't somebody please can anybody out there help me i think i'm losing my sanity i think i'm out of my mind now i'm out of my mind now help me i'm out of my mind somebody 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 help me i'm out of my mind <laughs> All right, y'all, so that 
was the redo version of Out of My Mind. And yeah, and that outro, I love the way um, the outro on this one played out better than the original one. I still kind of kept that little, um, that um, melodic uh, piece at the end. I just, I just, I just did a little bit more with that. I didn't want it to be just a one-time thing. So I kind of, you know, put that on repeat and that was all me actually re repeating it all the way through um, in a, in a higher note and then in a lower note, you know, so we can have that. So we can have it being like um, harmonic, if you will. Um, that little harmony piece right there, kind of put that all together with the higher and lower registers, and then um, <clears throat> that part. And then I didn't want to leave like any any gaps in it at all. So that's why you know when the beat really dropped off and you had that do 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 do, I was like, you know what? I need to do something there that really drives hold the point. Like this is it. Like I I I don't I don't lost my shit. Like I I don't I don't snap. So working in that Joker laugh was um, almost a last minute addition, you know what I'm saying, that I thought about putting in there. And yes, that, that is me actually doing the uh, Joker laugh, you know, the... <laughs> that's, that's your boy, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, very um, heavily influenced by Mark Hamill's um, in, uh, interpretation of the Joker. Um, I really like... Hamill's um, voice for the Joker, so that was he. That was definitely a, a huge influence on um, that 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 impression on that voice, and then doing that laugh at the end. Um, I probably could have done more with the laugh. I, I was thinking about that too. The more I listened to, it, I was like, I probably should have like like just how I I started the laugh ominously. Um, I probably should have closed it out more ominously as well. Like you know, what I mean, kind of you know, build it up till you got that, that big, more, um, maniacal laughter, and then how it started to die down, I should have, like, you know, helped it die down even more, you know what I mean, so, like, kind of, like, give, give this kind of, like, wave to it, you know what I mean, but, overall, I'm still, I'm still happy with it, though, I think, I still feel like this is a far, far superior version than the original, the original is currently sitting at, I think, 520 some views, and it's got 22 likes, four dislikes. This one already has nine likes and over 40 views. So thank you guys for that. Um, I'm probably gonna run a Google ad campaign on it, so that way we can really get those numbers up. Um, Cause yeah, cause I'm I'm really proud of this version. I think this is the version that I can definitely um, say I'm definitely I'm definitely proud of. And I and there is no point in. Um, redoing it after this because I'm, I'm happy with the overall concept of it the overall idea the overall performance of it hopefully you guys feel the same way feel free to let me know in the comment section down below do you like this version better did you like the original better you know what i'm saying there's no right or wrong answers you know what i'm saying or do you like both equally i mean that's perfectly fine too you know what i'm saying we're all entitled to our views at the end of the day you know what i'm saying and all of them are welcomed so as long as you guys are civil about it that's all i'm asking but all right, y'all. Feel free to sign off in the comment section down below. Let me know which one you like better. This one, that one, both, whatever the case. Anyway, really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Method to the Madness. I know I did. And um, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and of course, subscribe if you're new. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. We are on the mission to 7K subs, and we finna get that ASAP. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. With all that being said, it is your boy Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you, Jason. You are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Kelly, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Badger. I'm one half of the next week. We're going to be crazy. 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 We're going